Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're taking a look at a video from AJ Plus called Why Are the Majority of Mass Shooters in the US Men? Let's check it out. It's a narrative so unnervingly repetitive it's become familiar in the US. This week our nation was shocked and horrified when a gunman opened fire. As I was leaving the gym, someone warned me not to go outside that there's a man with a gun. The gunman, the number of casualties, the location, that may all change, but one thing remains the same. The perpetrator in a mass shooting is almost always a man. Here we go. Men are just the worst, am I right? There are lots of reasons men tend to be shooters, which we'll go over today. The first being, well, it's pretty much a 50-50 shot of being male or female. There's really only two genders, unless you buy into all the SJW gender binary tranny crap. The next reason I would say mass shooters are usually men is because, well, men are the stronger and bigger gender, and you're gonna need that strength to even think about operating most guns, especially ones like that shot gun in this picture. I'm Imayan, this is AJ Plus, and this Sunday we are on a trip to find out why so many men are mass shooters, what other commonalities they have, and what we can do to prevent it. I bet saying words like commonalities makes you feel smart. Imayan Abanga, Imayan Amaya, Imayan, Imayan Abangye, Imaya, Imayan Ibanga, Imayan Ibanga, Ibanga. I'd bang a black chick if she looked like you, but I digress. I think you misspoke before though, honey. You said you wanted to find out why so many men are mass shooters, when you should have said why are so many mass shooters men. Big difference. Sure, mass shooters are a problem and that's horrible, but I would not go so far as to say men are highly likely to become mass shooters. Those are totally different things. And let's not overstate mass shootings either. This video would have you believe they happen every day in America, when they really don't. There were about six or seven mass shootings last year in 2016, and another six or seven the year before. And sure, that's six or seven more than we would like, but there are far bigger gun-related problems in our country, such as the rampant murders happening every single day in fucking Chicago. Chicago, Illinois saw a surge in gun violence in 2016, 762 murders, over 3,000 shooting incidents, and over 4,000 shooting victims. But hey, let's not talk about the real problems in America, because those shootings were done by poor innocent black people, right? Not right. Al Jazeera prefers to focus on the mass shootings, of course, because that way they can target white people, thus fulfilling their regressive agendas. You will. The answer to why so many mass shooters in the US are men may have something to do with this cowboy. Well, not exactly this cowboy, it's more about his image and what he represents, manhood. We are headed right now to Stanford University to meet up with Marcy Bianco so she can tell us about why there's this disparity between men and women when it comes to mass shootings. I find it quite troubling that this video has all these feminist women talking about why mass shooters are men. Seems very fucking biased if you ask me. Oh, and that cowboy shit she was talking about? Saying it's because of toxic masculinity? That's bullshit. It's almost like a chicken or the egg argument. Which comes first? Males and their masculinity or the popular cultural icons that represent them, like cowboys? Well, this video claims that the cowboy image influences men to be macho and violent. And while that may be true in some cases, I would say the whole reason the cowboy persona came into popularity is because that's how real, rough and tough men acted. And the idea that some old John Wayne movies are going to make guys go out and shoot up places is pretty fucking absurd. It reminds me of back in the 90s when people blamed violent video games for the Columbine shootings. It's just shitty guesswork. There's no proof that there's any correlation here. These girls at AJ Plus are just guessing, basically. They're guessing that it was John Wayne, and I dare to say that they're likely to be fucking dead ass wrong. I see the origins of mass shootings to be a combination of the American sense of masculinity and the idea of the American man and the myths of American manhood. I like how they try to church up this girl's credentials. She works at the Clayman Institute for Gender Research, aka she's got a bullshit gender studies degree and she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Men account for a little less than 50% of the US population and yet they're the majority of perpetrators in U.S. mass shootings. Again, men are bigger and more likely to be able to handle guns. Perhaps you say that's a cultural thing, but I'd argue that most women can't even handle these big mass shooting kind of guns. Or maybe even the women are talking their men into doing the shootings for them. I don't know. Bianco says the gender disparity might be explained by the way the U.S. perceives and markets guns. 
Guns themselves actually have been given a gender. This is a big maybe and might be assumption these girls are making here. Dum 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 dum. Bianco says US culture is defining masculinity by its lack of proximity to femininity. And that might be one reason why we're not seeing as many female mass shooters. It's not biological, but it is very much cultural. Actually, I'm glad you finally said that because this is a biological thing and you two dunces are too fucking dense to even realize it. Any doctor or scientist will tell you that men are more violent and aggressive than women on average. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Men have loads more testosterone in their systems. The hormone which makes people more athletic, muscular, and wait for it, violent and aggressive. This is the real scientific reason mass shooters are male, not some hippie dick cultural bullshit explanation from a gender study idiot. And this difference doesn't mean women are any less capable of violent acts. Women and men are actually equally violent. They're not, women aren't any less violent than men, but they use less lethal uh, type means usually. Looks like we got another woman with another bullshit explanation for this. Sure, women are just as mean and violent, but since they're smaller and have less muscle mass, they can't invoke as much pain and suffering. Again, another genetic explanation, not cultural bullshit. And it's not just gender most mass shooters have in common. Another overlooked thread is a history of domestic violence. Omar Mateen, the deadliest shooter in U.S. history who killed 49 people at Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, he had a history of it. So did San Bernardino school shooter Cedric Anderson, who killed his wife and had a history of domestic violence allegations. It's funny you showed those too. I'm actually surprised you guys would admit that the worst mass shooter of all time was not white. I know race hasn't been fully mentioned here yet in their video, but just wait. It's coming soon. If a man feels that he can physically and emotionally harm his intimate partner, and that is okay, then of course he can go onto the street and do what he wants to, to a larger community because no one will criminalize him or penalize him for doing so. I don't know what the fuck this bitch is talking about anymore. Her smiling while talking about domestic violence is just plain disturbing. And of course shooters will get criminalized and penalized for killing people. What fucking world do you live in, lady? And if domestic violence is a common thread among US mass shooters, Bianco says misogyny is often intertwined because of how the culture defines manhood. Elliot Roger killed six people after posting rants online about women rejecting him romantically. And then he used that rejection as fuel for his murderous acts. Girls. Okay, we're getting pretty deep into their toxic masculinity rabbit hole. Look, I'm not gonna deny that being a man and masculine has something to do with being more violent and aggressive. I already said my piece about how testosterone is the real reasoning for that. But what AJ Plus is doing here is ignoring all the science and data and saying these shootings are all about culture, toxic masculinity, and misogyny. And they're just fucking dead wrong. They just want to make this about men hating women. These feminists are inserting their own biases into the story. In reality, the guy Guys who go on mass shootings are just fucking crazy people. Sure, there are events here and there that trigger them like bullies at a high school or not being able to get a girlfriend, but at the end of the day, they're just crazy in one way or another. That's the explanation, not some bullshit lines about cowboys from a gender studies professor. It's because they're men who go crazy one day, or they were crazy their whole lives and they finally snap. And I have a feeling they would have snapped regardless of misogyny or toxic masculinity. Hell, they could have lived on an island with no women at all, and they still would have went on a shooting spree. These girls in the video are just desperate to not only make this all about them, but also to shit on men. And that type of distorted logic is common among mass shooters, according to Ms. Gary. This idea that shooters are psychotic is just wrong. It's all about perception. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing is wrong. They feel justified in doing it because of their fantasy and their perception that these people have wronged them and therefore they feel right in what they're doing. These girls are trying real hard to say the shooters aren't crazy. Why? Again, because they want to blame John Wayne and not hormonal imbalances in the brain. It's fucking ridiculous. I don't care what you say. Any person who goes out and shoots groups of people for no reason is some kind of crazy. Maybe you don't want to call it psychotic or narcissistic, but it's some kind of crazy. I'm sure. So gender, a distorted perception, a history of domestic violence, and misogyny. Those are all common traits for mass gunmen. But there is one more thing that U.S. mass shooters have in common. They're white. 
here we go again. Knew this part was coming. This is the real reason they made this video, guys. They don't care about shootings and violence in general. No, because then they would be talking about the record-setting black gang violence in Chicago. No, today we're talking about mass shooters because they're mostly white. How convenient for Al Jazeera and their anti-white agenda. 50 of the 90 mass shooters since 1987 have been white. That's 55%, which is intriguing because the U.S. Census says 77% of the nation is white, and white men specifically make up about 31% of the population. So why are they so overrepresented in mass shootings? Well, it all goes back to that cowboy. Jesus, fuck. Not that cowboy shit again. Most mass shooters in America are white because most people in America are white. That's it. This isn't a white thing or an epidemic in the white culture. There's only been like 90 mass shootings since 1992 anyway. Now that's terrible and that's 90 too many, but to imply this is a white male problem is fucking ridiculous. She says the definition of manhood in the United States is directly tied to heterosexual white male masculinity. Um, yeah? Isn't that obvious? Most men are straight and manly. What's your fucking point? White men historically in this country have felt entitled to certain ways of being and they've seen the world change and as a result they feel defensive that they need to take up guns, take up arms, and defend themselves against changes in America. Well, I don't advocate violence, but white men are on the defense in America right now. Anti-white racism is rampant and widely accepted in all forms of media. Hell, this video we're watching right now is anti-white male propaganda. So no, white men aren't on the defense for no reason at all. We're on the defense because we're being attacked and belittled by women and minorities on the daily. So what can we do? How can we fix this? If we had a proper gun reform, gun, legisla gun control legislation that actually prohibited open carry, that required background checks, um, I think in turn we would see a, a kind of curbing of mass shootings in America. And no we wouldn't. We already have rigorous gun laws. We already have background checks. If banning guns helped, then, again, Chicago wouldn't be the murder capital of the country because gun laws are strict as hell there and they still can't stop them from killing people. We've seen this in other countries. Australia hasn't seen a mass shooting in 20 years after enacting gun legislation in 1996. I'm glad you brought up Australia. This is true. They haven't seen a mass shooting since 92 because they banned and confiscated everyone's guns. Even suggesting this in America will cause a fucking insurrection. These dumb bimbos are suggesting armed cops Cops go out and take away guns from other armed Americans, many of whom will fight back before giving up their Second Amendment right to bear arms. So no, suggesting America confiscate everyone's guns like Australia? This isn't going to help, and it may even cause a new civil war, Captain America Civil War, part two. So there seem to be a lot of commonalities between mass gunmen in the US. Again with the commonalities. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're just an above average wig wearing black woman who's here to shit on white men for AJ+. Not only did your video not address any of the real reasons mass shooters are more likely to be men, strength and testosterone, but you also failed to suggest any realistic ways to stop shootings in the future. The guns aren't the problem here. Banning guns will just make shooters find them somewhere else or make them find other ways to kill. When a wife stabs her husband to death, do you blame the knife? Would banning knives help alleviate stabbings? Maybe, but that's not really addressing the problem, is it? The real problem here is mass shooters themselves, not their weapons of choice. And I don't even know how to stop a problem that's as rare and hard to tackle as mass shootings. Maybe more security in public places or more help identifying trouble use at schools? Something like that would help a lot more than banning guns. And before we go, I just want to bring up a couple other trends and demographics that AJ Plus wouldn't dare to address. Here are a few real questions for AJ Plus. Why are the majority of teachers that have sex with students women? Why are the majority of people on welfare black women? Why are most terrorist attacks done by Muslims? And last, why do black people commit more crimes and murders than any other race in America? And it's not even fucking close. Let's try and answer these questions, AJ+, before trying to answer mass shootings with your John Wayne cowboy theory. These are real issues that affect real people in our country, and I would love to hear Al Jazeera's take on them. What do you guys think? Why are mass shooters really mostly 
mostly males. Is this a white people thing or is AJ Plus stretching? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. And don't forget, this show is funded and supported by viewers like you. Like, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Hit that bell button below to get email notifications of our new uploads. We also have merchandise such as shirts, sweaters, stickers, and coffee mugs in our Teespring store. Join our Patreon to support monthly for as low as $1. You can get bonus videos and all kinds of cool stuff. There's also Amazon affiliate links and all of our other links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and supporting. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together right now over me. One more thing. I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. You guys went above and beyond the rest, and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. We're going to be setting up more videos and live streams very soon. Thanks again. Ah, okay. Hey guys, welcome to another workout video. Um, today, I'm going to take you guys through a fat burning workout routine that you can do at home. Damn bugs.